Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, I'm showing you where you are going to acquire your, uh, you know, your light stats from, because it's very important in the dew top side and also uh, much more in the delve. So this is not a video about what the light stat is. I do have a video on the channel talking about that and it is linked in the description if you wanna know what the light stat uh, does and, and, and so forth. Uh, but we are just going to talk about where you are going to uh, acquire, uh, you know, your light from. And it's because it, there is a lot of updates or I wouldn't say a lot of updates, but there is a few updates to where you can get more light. And it's like I said, it's it's quite important. So here we got our character. is It's a level 30 drag light. So and we're going to talk about the first thing is your hat, your weapon and your face. And again, it doesn't matter what face it is. I am, of course, not a dragon, so mine is a staff. And we're not talking about, uh, you know, uh, the, how much you get. We're just talking about where you are going to get it. Like, for example, the weapon or your hat, for example. So right now I'm rocking some Crystal 3, but I'm also rocking a Crystal 4. And you can see there's a little bit more uh, light. Uh, at this is not the same as this. <laughs> you can see this is 650 maxed out and this is 845 maxed out. And the weapon has more and even has more on Crystal 4. So it doesn't matter when we are some at some point going to introduce uh, Crystal 5, maybe. Uh, we don't know, but... It makes sense since you can get uh, the other two five and now we got four. Uh, so they're probably going to introduce crystal five at some point. But the point is right now the highest is crystal four. But you are going to acquire light uh, from these here places. So face, weapon and hat is the first place you are going to get your um, your light from. The next thing is your banner. You can craft banners in the hub uh, when you do delves and, and stuff like that. This is a, a torch. This is a permanent torch. You get these from uh, defeating uh, your 10 Leviathan bosses. Uh, and you can really uh, be lucky if, as me, I got it after six of them. So that was pretty lucky. But I've heard about people try defeating uh, 2,000 of these and not seeing a permanent torch. And this one is upgraded. So you upgrade this one. When you acquire this one, you can go to the uh, spawning point of any of the U8, uh, U9, and uh, your 10 geo top side there's a spawning point there there's a crafting bench and there's the crafting bench where you also can craft your um you know your temporary ones and you can also craft some weapons in that station uh, so it's like first thing you basically meet and there's also a uh, upgrade uh part of that uh, uh, workbench and where you can upgrade it to get some magic damage and some uh, flash capacity and I picked the, uh, and also some movement speed. That's what I picked for uh, my torch to upgrade. You can loot collect this one to get it back to whatever you want to. And if you want physical damage on yours instead, then of course it's going to take all the materials that they use on it and of course throw that away. But you are going to, you know, keep the 900 light that is, uh, or I think it's actually, uh, no, it's not 800. Uh, it's 875, I think, or 825 when you loot collect it back to the torch. But it's first when you upgrade, it gets to 900. The temporary ones you can craft there is pretty good as well if you don't have a permanent one. Uh, but they, they can be upgraded to have those extra stats. Uh, but they are going to give that you uh, up to 900 uh, or light as well. But you can see them all in the crafting bench. It makes a lot more sense to you. So the next place you want to get some light is from your allies. So there's a bunch of allies that gives you uh, light. But I'm, I did a video on the channel as well where I was talking about the best new allies in Delve. Uh, or the Delve update, and this is of course uh, these here. You can see this one. Uh, I want to take another one that is very common, like this one. This is the Puck, and the Puck is a really good um, ally. And as you can see, this is going to add uh, 300 light to my stats as well. But this is basically equivalent to what we had uh, of the uh, the perf. No, not uh, the Cubesley, uh, Chromancer Cubesley ally. Uh, it's right here. You can see it's exactly the same except for that this one gives you the 300 light extra. So there's a bunch of allies that all give you some uh, light, but this is the, the best ones you can get. There's also ones for physical damage, for example, this one. And there's also the jug, for example, also physical damage, but also adds the 300 light. So I'm going to equip this one here, right here. Uh, I do have a skin <laughs> on it for the perky penguin because penguins, right? Uh, but it is going to give me the 300 light from that as well. The next thing is going to be your food. And the food here is going to give you 300 light. 
And it's also going to give you some jumps and flash capacity and some health regen to health regen is not really, but the 300 light is quite important. And there's also equivalent to some other ones right here. So you have the little bit worse food and you have the even worse food. And these drop all in geotops, uh, not geotops, sorry, in the delves when you open up uh, the pressure boxes and also you loot collect uh, banners and standards and these for these these here you need to collect them i can actually just put in one here i'm not going to look collect it but you can see this one is going to give you the fresh uh or the freelance whatever it's called the ones that i was using and that's the best food you can have in here and as you can see you get a lot of it and you can also uh, but it does you know you know get a or disappear after 20 minutes but it is 300 light extra from that so pretty nice as well the next place you are going to get uh, or the last place, I guess, you are going to... Not the last place, sorry. I, there's more, sorry. But the next place you're going to get is from your gems. You probably already know this is from gems. This is pretty old. But of course, you get light from your cosmic gems and you empower cosmic gems. And I have no uh, boosts. If I go right over here, uh, I have no pearls on the light stat right now. As you can see right here, this one does not either. Uh, this one does not either. They're all 100% for sure but they don't any of them have the, all the boo or the pearls as you saw uh the pearls you can see they are on the magic damage and the critical damage but if you are doing exclusively do you top side or exclusively delves if that's the only thing you're doing you want to have these pearls moved into the lights that you want to again have as much light as you can so do you want to boost these uh, as much as you can uh, getting all these pearls here into the light stat. That's very important if you're doing that. But if you're doing all sorts of other content, I guess everything besides this over here and the delves, then you are don't really need to put everything into the light. You probably want to have the crit damage and the magic damage instead. So, but if you are doing exclusively those the new content, that is where you want to get your light. And the I was <laughs> I'm about to say the last place you are going to get light is from your mastery and not from your trove mastery but from your geode mastery so if you can see right here uh, if it would l let me increase uh, geode mastery by adding your collection the first 100 levels so i am above 100 levels uh, i'm not sure how much more i am over but i am 100 levels up it's going to give you a uh, 10 light so when you hit level 100 and over you are going to get uh, exactly uh, so it doesn't matter if you're over uh but it's going to give you a thousand light when you hit level 100 i guess that's the best way to say it um but when you are all filled up it's going to give you a thousand passively if you can say it like that i can show you uh if i take off like these these items here also if i take off my ally uh, i can't take off my food right now but as you can see i'm rocking like 2521 uh, light right now and a thousand is that is from the uh, you know from from the uh, from the mastery so I can't really go below the, that I can get away with you know taking this one out and, and stuff like that there's also a a, a, a boost to light when you use the uh, oh, I have no gear on let me just get here uh, when you use the battle berserker there is also uh, let's see if I have one the, there we go this one also adds light to you but it's only a, it's not a consistent thing it's only when it procs it does increase your light i'm not sure how much it is uh but it is a small increase to attack speed and light so i'm not sure it's too much uh but you gonna have a definitely enough uh using this let me see give me that one so i'm rocking 6516 which is uh, is fairly good to start out with anything above 6000 is pretty good to hear uh, and of course I need to put you know more light in or move the pearls in here to get more light of that but I'm probably gonna hit like 7,000 with that and uh, I do need of course more you're gonna get a lot more from getting crystal 4 uh, but 6,000 is a good start when you have that so that's all the places you can get it from uh, also like I said from the uh, oh, <laughs> from the battle uh, or berserk battler as it's called the empowered one uh, but I don't know how much it is and also it's random whenever this is proccing then you get the light it's not a consistent thing so yeah i think that's everything i wanted to say with the light make sure you comment below if i missed anything at all uh i might have i don't think i have i kind of calculated all of it so uh yeah i think that's all the places you are going to but, but like i said if i missed something make sure you comment down below and uh, thank you so much for watching 
and I will catch you in the next one. Again, thank you for watching.